Hello guys and dolls. You know that yesterday or two days ago or something like that I promised that I would do a Christmas episode um, and a little jingle for you. Um, but something happened yesterday that's really just straight out of a movie. Okay, but first let me preface this with my mama is me to the next level. Um, you guys think that I'm bold, that I'm fucked up, that I don't really know how to describe my mom, but just think of that, I guess. My mom's gotten into five public fights with random people in grocery stores, uh, clothing stores, just various stores. And in 1990, she actually fought a grizzly bear um, in Indianapolis where they had some type of traveling exhibition where you fight a grizzly bear and the whole goal is to go in and hug the bear. And my mom has a pretty badass trophy. She was the only one uh, at that time to go in and hug the bear. And she has this really cool picture of her like in there with the bear and I'm fucked up, I'm crazy, I would never, ever do that. Alright, so yesterday for Christmas, my parents gave me bus tickets to St. Louis, which I live in St. Louis and Indianapolis, and I go back and forth all the time. My family's in St. Louis, my love's in... Reverse that. My family's in Indianapolis, my love's in um, St. Louis, which he was in Indianapolis, but then he moved, and we moved four years ago, but I've just been going back and forth all the time because I'm pretty close with all my family, so I just travel back and forth. But anyhow, they got me tickets to St. Louis, which I didn't plan on going back until the beginning of the year. I ended up I'm in St. Louis right now because they got me the bus tickets. All right, so around 5 o'clock, they ended up taking me to the bus station, which it's in kind of a shady area, but if you're from Indianapolis, we're from 38th and Midhoffer, so that's really nothing to us. If you saw my post on Facebook, you saw that um, the bus station is actually right in front of Lucas Oil Stadium. So it's a decent area. It's not too bad. So anyhow, my mom has no professional training whatsoever. She thinks she does, but she doesn't. Me, on the other hand, I've had extensive training in several different fields um, when it comes to fighting, self-defense, different venues. I am pretty as well-trained as really anybody can be. If there's something that I can do to fight or to bring out my aggression, I'm going to do it. So I have several de different degrees and different um, certifications and various things. Nonetheless, my mom thinks I can't defend myself. She decided to take me in, to escort me into the station to make sure that I got checked in okay. So we check in and it's time for um, us to part. She gives me a hug, gives me a kiss and says, hey, at least all the assholes who will cause trouble are home with their families. Apparently my mom thinks that families mean that you have to be a genuine dude. Definitely not the case. But either way, I get on the bus and about an hour later I get a call from my mom. The call was very muffled and I couldn't really understand. After about five to seven minutes all I could really make out with, make out of the call, <laughs> was Jim's been mugged. He is okay. Jim's my stepdad. Um, he's been my stepdad for like 20 two years, so I don't really call him my stepdad. I have a dad totally rambling at this point. Nonetheless, my dad, my mom's husband, um, had been mugged, but he's okay. And that's all I really knew for about an hour. So at this time, I'm really panicking. I'm really freaking out. I'm calling my dad's phone back. I'm calling my mom's phone, my brother's phone, who was with him at the time, calling everybody that I know who would know about the situation, and nobody is picking up. Fast forward when my mom finally calls me back a few hours later and explains the whole story to me. So in complete daylight, this fiend walks up to my dad, who's on crutches. He can't really do anything because he just had surgery on his feet. So he walks up to my dad's car with a gun pointed to his head in the parking lot, in the Greyhound parking lot, right across from um, Lucas Oil Stadium, walks up with a gun in his hand and says, hey, you know, give me your wallet, your phone, and all this other bullshit. And my dad, for some reason, punched this dude square in the face, knocked out teeth, and yeah, this is my family, y'all. We seriously are so fucked up. Like, my, I, my brother's been shot, my dad's been, both the people in the car had been shot. And for some reason, my dad punched this dude in the face and knocked out teeth, yeah. We don't fuck around. I think at this time my dad realized that one of my brothers was in the car as well. So he gave the phone and gave his wallet away and the guy proceeded to just take off. It's at this time when my mom is walking out the door. I'm still um, in queue to get on the bus. So I don't really know what's going on at this stage until I get that phone call. But nonetheless, my mom walks out and she sees this guy running away from the car with my dad's wallet and cell phone. And of course she does the only thing that a woman in this case would do. And that's chased the guy down and beat him to a pole. Yeah, she chased the dude down, took the phone from him, and beat him with my dad's cell phone. Beat the dude 
who just took my dad's cell phone with the cell phone that he took. How badass is that? So right now the guy's in jail because my mom held him down till the cops could come. My mom seriously is such a badass. I love her story. Seriously, whenever I'm, I, it's such a shame that I wasn't there because stories like this, like, it's like we kind of feed off of each other because I'm a dumb shit with stuff like that. I'm totally, I would say it's brave, but it's just not brave. It's just stupid. Anywho, nobody got shot yesterday, which is good because both my, my dad walks with a limp right now. Even if he wasn't on crutches, he walks with a limp. He has a complete dead foot that just flops in the wind when he walks. I don't know how he can walk on two feet. My brother's been shot like right we're just fucked up. Seriously, my whole family. It's not brave. It's stupidity. So when I say that I had a good reason for not doing an episode yesterday, trust me, I did. This was my reason. Um, other than that, I had a pretty good Christmas. Spent it with my family. I love my family to pieces. Seriously, we are all like this. We are... How... this? It's like straight off a movie. Who the fuck gets mugged in daylight on Christmas? my family. Anyhow, let me know how your guys' Christmas went by commenting below. I have a smile on my face. Seriously, my whole family has a smile on their face. No traumatic stories here. We look, try to look at the positive side of everything. Um, and this is just fucking hilarious to us. Like, I got my car. I have an Escalade. It got broken into. So what do I do? I see the act occurring because my alarm starts going off. It's like four in the morning. I have really bad sleep schedule. So I'm up. I look out and I see my car broken into. And what do I do? I start chasing, like I run out and I chase the guy down, like not knowing if he has a gun, he didn't have it, he's like a teenager or some stupid asshole. Anyhow, I chase the guy down. Like that's just something that we do all the time, like we don't think. My family, we just kind of react. So again, like I said, it's not really being brave, it's just being stupid. But um, anyhow, let me know what you guys did for Christmas, if you guys have any like interesting, amazing stories, comment below. Um, and I'll be doing a headlines episode very soon because, gosh, so much has happened. And I know I missed this past Friday's um, whole little headline episode, but I will definitely get back to you guys. So much has been going on in the sport of boxing and oh, just so much to update you with. I'm talking really fast uh, because I just got off the phone with my mom and I don't know. It's just hilarious right now. But anyhow... Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I will see you before New Year's Eve, though. Um, but nonetheless, Merry Christmas and have a blessed day. And I hope you had an amazing Christmas. And thank you guys so much for all of your continued love and support. It really means the world to me. Um, I kind of play this character on these videos of being this, like, crazy chick, which I am a crazy chick, but um, if you know me on Facebook, I'm not really, I mean, if you know me in life or if you see me on Facebook, I'm not really as high strung. I'm pretty much a mellow chick, so I really appreciate um, everything that you guys have done. You guys have really gone on this whole journey um, in life with me, and I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. So thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoy the rest of this holiday season, and I will see you all very soon. Take care, and God bless. Bye now.